Why is that thing so hard to start? Let's see if we can fix that. Alright guys, I was kind of messing with you in the intro because I already know what's wrong with this. Uh, I put some gas in it the other day and the gas had water in it so now I think the float bowl which is up under here I think it's got water in it or it may not now because I did let this thing run for about a half an hour the other day but it's still starting hard so I think either the water I put in it had or the gas I put in it had water in it already or it's just from condensation I'm not sure but we're going to go ahead and take this apart and I'm not going to show you exactly how this comes apart I'm going to fast forward through it because if you don't know how to take the carburetor off maybe you shouldn't you know get inside the carburetor so let's go ahead and uh, take this carburetor off of here Now I drained most of this gas out for a reason because I wanted to check to see if there was any water in the gas that I put in and I don't see any which is good in my case but in yours it's bad I was going to show you how to see if there's water in there but if there's water in here guys down here in the corner water's heavier than gasoline it'll go, always go to the bottom and down here in the corner you'll see like a haze it won't be like this yellow color it'll be like a haze it'll be almost clear it'll look like like a gel or something down the bottom but it's actually water so I'm in good shape for this so let's take the carburetor inside on the bench and let's take it apart and see what we got inside this carburetor alright guys on the bowl of this carburetor up underneath here I really don't want to turn it because sometimes that can make it worse. If there's any gook in the bottom here, it could put it in other passageways. There's what looks like to be a little bolt here. There, now there's a couple holes in the bot in this bolt. Now we're going to take this out. It is a half inch. Now I'm going to show you this little. There's also a little gasket here. You want to be aware of that gasket. Be mindful of that. Okay, we're going to set that aside for now. Now see in the bottom of here, it's a little hole. And on the side, there's a hole there and one on the other side. Now these holes should be clear. You should be able to see through them. Now, I don't know if I can get you to see through that or not. Yeah, see, it is clear, but anyway, that's the hole you should be able to see through it. And, uh, let me see, I can see through it up in the light, so it's clear, so that's okay. Now, what I see here in this bowl is I see a little dirt down in the bottom of that. So that's telling me that the carburetor is dirty yeah it's it's dirty the float seems to be working okay because it wasn't flooded out so let's take the pin out of this float we'll set that aside we're going to take the float out and out comes your needle valve that's what shuts your gas off once the bowl gets full is this needle valve in this float and they seem to be working properly this has a little bit of white stuff on it right there it comes right off 
that's from water being in there so I don't think it's the water I don't think it's the gas that I put in there 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 looks to be a little tiny bit in the bottom of that right down in that corner there I'll tell you what let me get a little bit of water and I'll show you what gas because we're not going to reuse this so I'll show you what what gas looks like with water in it okay now this is what I was talking about outside if you look down inside there I don't know how well you can see that see the difference in the discoloration that's water okay and that's how you can tell if there's water in it you'll know immediately it looks just like a blob see about where that dirt that dirt is that dirt's laying in that water right now that's what looks like when you have water in it I did see a little speck of water but not enough for it to have issues like I'm having so let's get this set up here and we'll get everything set on a nice towel and um, let's see if there's anything else that we can take out of this which I doubt and then we're going to soak it in carburetor cleaner okay now we've got everything off of here except for this gasket here this is a rubber gasket that goes around here it's actually like it's an o-ring is what it is now this doesn't look too bad this is a bowl it doesn't look real bad there's some dirt in there that could be the starting issue but look inside it here see all that white stuff okay that is from water being inside here and dampness and that's what water causes uh, aluminum to do and this is aluminum so the only thing that I can take off of here see inside there is right inside there is where your fuel goes up in through from this little bolt looking thing that's why it has the hole in the center and then a hole in the sides it sucks it suction comes through that little hole down inside there that little hole over there and it sucks it up through this hole which sucks the gas through them two little holes okay now like I said there's really no jets that I can take off of this thing except for this gasket here and I'm afraid it's stuck on there pretty good and I don't have another one of these gaskets I don't think I'll have to check it's not like I said it's more like an o-ring so I'm going to check and see if I've got an o-ring I have an o-ring kit over there but I don't know if I've got one that big if I do then I'll be able to just go ahead and pull this off and replace it but I'm going to check and see if we got that and then we're going to put these parts these two items here into the carb cleaner and we're going to let them soak a couple hours alright guys I don't have an o-ring for this I did manage to get the old one off but it wasn't without cost okay so it's kinda so I'm gonna have to get an o-ring for it but we'll still be able to I mean it'll leak there but we'll still be able to put this back on enough to try it and if that works then we're good to go and if not I'll just order another carburetor online these things are like 12 bucks or something like that if that so if the carburetor is no good then I'm not even going to worry about getting one of these but if it is good I'll just run the parts store and get one of these o-rings but I don't like leaving them on because sometimes they swell up and then you won't be able to get your your bowl because see this this ridge right here is where that o-ring sits and that's what seals it so uh, and sometimes they'll swell up and when they do you won't be able to get your bowl on and it'll leak anyway but let's go ahead and get this cleaned up and see if we can't um, and we'll blow it out real good but I'm gonna let it set a couple hours and we'll uh, we'll try it and see like I said if it works fine I'll get a new gasket if not I'll put a new carburetor on that mower
and I'm gonna go edit another video and come back and check us out in a couple hours. Go put it back on the mower. Let's see if it'll start any easier now. That's a lot better. First crank. That's the way it used to run, and that's the way I like them to run. First or second crank, every time, all the time. I don't like to sit and pull something four and five times, and then it runs perfect. Well, now you're done more out. You can't. You don't want to move the grass. <laughs> so anyway, there's another one for you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this will help somebody with theirs. Um, I just soaked it in that carb cleaner. It's like 20 or 30 bucks at Advance Auto for a gallon of it. Uh, it works. It works real good. Um, but what I'd like to have is an ultrasonic cleaner to put that stuff in. That way, it gives it a vibration. It heats it up, and it really does a great job. You leave it in there for. 20 minutes half an hour depending on how bad your carburetor is you can clean other parts as well with it but uh like bolts and nuts and stuff like that but right now it's what i got so anyway again that's the way it should run every time it should start like that every time it ran fine but so there you go thanks for watching again guys appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys take care Every time, all the time.